Tomas Hurdle's second career shootout goal gets the Sharks to 500 on the young season. On the other side, Jordan Cairo notched another point, giving him a team-leading four through four games. Well, St. Louis's power play has been stone cold to start the season, going 0 for 14 through its first four contests. Mm. The Blues will hope to sing a more positive power play tune on Saturday when they host the Kings. For more, here's Darren Pang. What I saw tonight from Enterprise Center was something that both teams really, really needed. Both goaltenders. I mean, Martin Jones uh, came into this game 500 against the St. Louis Blues. He was razor sharp. Didn't finish the second game after winning the first one against Arizona. And, of course, Devin Dubnik played game three, which was right here in St. Louis. They got the performance they needed from Martin Jones. I thought he was on top of his crease. He looked big, didn't over move, and made the really hard saves look relatively easy. At the other end of the ice, Jordan Bennington, same thing. Uh, really, really sharp. I mean, he played great in the first game against Colorado. Tested a lot, but in this game, it was a different game. There's a different flow to this game, and I thought he really hung in there. The penalty kill of the St. Louis Blues finally uh, was absolutely terrific, and they nullified every power play that San Jose had and much of it to do with their goaltender. He battled really, really hard. So I think both teams, they're real happy with uh, the fact that they've got uh, A-plus performances from both their goaltenders. Yeah, but Panger, the Blues have been a little more happy if they got two <laughs> points from this game. They do get uh, one Panger's point. always happy. Winter yes, he's blues. glass half full, yeah. and we love him for it. Uh, but in all seriousness, now that you've seen the Blues through four games, I mean, this is a team that we fully expect to contend for the Stanley Cup yet again this year. Where would you assess them right now? Uh, right now, I'd say I'm 50-50 on them. I haven't seen them pull it together the way I'd like to. Now, it's early, and their story is very familiar. There's a lot of teams dealing with some of the issues that they are, whether it's the penalty kill or the power play. Penalty kill was better for them. Power play has not been yet. Still a work in progress, but that is a familiar theme around the National Hockey League. I'm looking for that Tory Krug effect. Mm. He's got to replace some pretty big shoes and replacing the captain Alex Petrangelo and then unfortunately we don't know the extent of an injury he suffered he tonight. did come back though we're, we're being told so that's perfect that's good news I did not see him come back in that game it looked like he was challenged walking down the hallway but the good news is he was back and hopefully that'll be fine but we still haven't really seen any emergence of him mm. yet it's too early to expect much but that's something that I'm watching with this team how do you fill that hole for your captain, the guy that was their inspirational leader on and off the ice. It's not going to be easy. On top of that, I'm looking for them to bounce back from their bubble performance mm -hmm. last year. It was mm -hmm. not impressive for me with this group. And then you have a total opposite story with the San Jose Sharks. This is the team that went 10 months exactly between meaningful games, between any games, right? They did not make the return to play format this summer. So from January, or sorry, March of 2020 yes. to January of 2021, they were off. So now that they're back, what do you think of them? Uh, Jury's still out on where they're going to finish. They, they started really well against Arizona. I was really pleased with their first game, particularly Marty Jones, who I thought was sensational. They came back with him the next night, which I thought was a little bit odd. He didn't have a great game. He didn't make it through the game, as Darren Pang just pointed out. And then Devin Dubnik played the next one. He came back tonight, and he looked good. If he can hold up, get his game back to the level where it was when they went to the Stanley Cup Finals before eventually losing to the Pittsburgh Penguins, that would mean everything to this group. He just gives them confidence. They got three great D. Everybody knows that in Burns, Vlasic, and Carlson. The other three D, very unheralded, though. A lot of younger players. That's also common around the league right now as the salary cap. Some of the things take effect with teams. So a lot of questions still with the San Jose Sharks. But for me, the key is Marty Jones. Okay. He has a huge year. They'll have a big year. And he had a big game in this one. Yes, and a big did. reason why they got the two points.